Welcome back to Emily's Paper Caper. This week I'm working on embellishments for the junk journal that I'm making in collaboration with Kim of Creative Crafticality. And I have a lot of things I've been working on and some things I'm going to finish up. But first, let me show you some of the things I've already completed. I used some of the beads and fibers that Kim sent in the package to make some pretty embellished paper clips. I had a lot of fun doing this. I've never made anything like this before, so this was new for me, and I just really enjoyed working with the supplies Kim sent. There were some really nice fibers and beads in the package. She even sent the beads to spell the word spring. So I plan to put these on pages of the album. Let me kind of show you an example. I think these will look really cute. Like this on the edge of a page. So I'll be adding those. Next week you can come back and see a flip through of the completed and embellished journal but this week we're just working on our embellishments so another thing that i made was i used these bulb clips to make some little tassels with some of the ribbons and fibers that kim sent this was also new to me i'd never done this before and i made three of them i just folded them over in half through the bulb clip and then tied them off with some of the jute and i think these are going to look really cute as decoration to my wire spine just going to put them on like this and i think that it will be a super nice embellishment for the spine so i'm going to go ahead and put these on these are my first ever tassels and that will just be fun as I work with the journal. Then I've decided to use the bags that Kim enclosed to make a dual uh, pocket. I used some of the paper that she sent and cut it and can put that down in the bag and then I also want this bag to serve as a belly band so I can also tuck things here we will add this to the page using my scotch ATG I created tags using the index cards and added napkins that Kim sent in the package and I had a lot of fun doing this. I also stamped with the stamp set she sent me. And I think these will be super nice tuck spots in the book. Something like that. So I have some other things planned for belly bands. This is the one of the vintage cards she sent me and I've just put adhesive here and here to make it into a pocket. And then I can make a belly band on the page so that it is also a nice additional place to tuck items into the album. And I could add more tags because I made plenty of tags but I think instead I'll tuck some of the index cards that I made. I used the tissue paper and put it on the index card. And on this one, I used some of the tissue paper and also the stamps she sent. And here's a pink one that says amazing. And it can go like that. So there's another tuck. And there was one more paper bag, so I created another pocket with that. I've tried to put these belly bands 
one towards the front, one towards the middle, and one towards the back of the book. She also sent a pattern and I cut the cute girls out of the pattern and added the pattern tissue to some white card. And I will just make those tucks for the belly band. Here's another one where I used one of the paint swatches. I guess there's a paint swatch on this one too. And she sent some wood buttons, which I've used. So it's a very versatile belly band for the album with that bag. We'll set the journal aside and turn our attention to some other embellishments I've been making this week. Using papers from the coloring book that she sent, I've made some envelopes. These are just simple. Basically, the page is folded up and then folded down. And it's a perfect spot for another index card or two could go in there. I used some of the wrapping paper that Kim sent to decorate some of the index cards. Then I also made some tube envelopes. I got the ideas for these from the paper outpost. In recent videos, she was making these envelopes and these tube envelopes. So I will link to those down in the description in case you want to try making them. I have a few more here that need to be finished off. So let's get those out and I can kind of show you. Let's do the envelopes first. I just used some of the pom-pom trim and we'll put a few journal cards in each of them. We could put a tag in there too, couldn't we? So this one has two journal cards and a tag. This one has three journal cards. And this one will put two journal cards and a tag. And then I plan to add these two pages of the journal. We could even close it with one of the paper clips that I made. Let's find one. Could hold the envelope closed like this. That'll be cute. So I have one, two, three envelopes. And I also have three of the tube envelopes. Again, I'll link to the videos where I got these ideas down in the description. In the box of supplies that Kim sent me was a calendar with butterflies. So I fussy cut out a bunch of those butterflies and I decided that I would embellish these tube envelopes with the butterflies and I mounted them on some of that tissue paper that she gave me, which I really like a lot. I'll use some art glitter glue to get these adhered. They will go off the edges a little bit, but that does not bother me in the least because these will get adhered to a journal page and become a pocket. Let's put a tag and a journal card in there. And for the final one, Kim sent some cute pocket cards that I can journal on. I'll put those in here and another tag. I'll be adding these things to the journal and we'll do a flip through next week. Let me show you the other things that I've been working on and I'll put a lot of these in the journal. Here's a tag with one of the butterflies. 
and a strip of the paint swatch in a stamped image. Here I've stamped one of the bees and added it to one of the tags. Another stamped image and the butterfly embellishment that she sent. This one has a dragonfly and a bee. Some of the paper that Kim sent I've made into journaling cards. I used some of the clothing sewing pattern and added some embellishment. Here's some more of the butterflies which I plan to add to pages. And I used some of the book page that she sent to create what will become a pocket. I'll put adhesive here and here, and then this will be a tuck spot on a page. Same with this one. And then I used some of the seed catalog pages to create what will become corner pockets on pages. I think those will be a lot of fun. And then for one of the belly bands, I plan to put the bingo card in one of the belly bands. And then I also had some larger index cards. I stamped another butterfly from the stamp set and fussy cut that and added it to the, the card that's covered with the tissue paper. And here are a couple of the ladybugs that are stamped and fussy cut. I'm going to be busy this next week adding all these embellishments to the journal. I've had a lot of fun creating and probably the item that I used the most in the box was, well, a couple of items that I used the most. The yarn and the 3x5 cards have really come in handy. Be sure to go over to Kim's channel to check out what she's been making for embellishments. And don't forget to come back next week to see final flip throughs of our completed journals. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting everyone.